Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. This is round 26. Um, things are looking kind of good, I think. There's just been a bit of banter going on in the uh, diplo in the diplomacy. Like, I think everything, the world's mostly at peace. People are people are starting to pick their games. It looks like Richard's actually got another zone, or he's about to get a third zone. A second or third zone, apparently. So he's doing pretty good. Um, so I'm pleased about that, because if you, you'll see, if you look at the victory overview, he's actually picked his score up. Um, <clears throat> uh, Hyde, who's controlling Hyde, the tribes of man, he's actually overtaken me here. So I need to, I need to pick my game up a little bit as well. But I think we're, I think we're kind of pushing in, looking like, we, look, these guys have. Every time I push in on something, they seem to push back. I'm really pleased about that. Uh, so I might be able to take this one here, Z uh, Zwenberg. I might, I'm probably also going to be able to take this one too. Whether can I take them both at the same time? Hmm, don't know. Probably not. But I'd like to try. Uh, let's have a look at the history. Yeah, these guys, uh, these farmers here, push me back. That's fine. That's their territory. Um, we're not, we're not at war with them technically yet. Okay, so the uh, in one turn, in one turn, the effects of the time of relative calm will have disappeared. So we're going to be entering a new one, which will be horrible probably. We've discovered motorbike infantry, and we've re we've completed barracks. Uh, we can start getting up some of these some of these quality of life buildings now um we've also got a few interesting cards Incre uh, increase increase sales tax being one of them i think i'm going to play that so in fact let's let me do that before i forget because sales tax can sometimes give you decent amounts of money okay so we we, we made that roll that's good okay our spies <clears throat> excuse me our spies in Castello Republic have found information. Uh, we want to go with, I think it was the Citizens League. Yeah, we want the real polit uh, politicas in there. So, yeah, well, let's just go with that. Uh, national bu budget allocations. Right, I want to take Interior Council down a touch. We don't need that so much anymore. Um, and I also want to raise Economic Council. I think raising economic council is really important here. Everything else looks okay, I'd say. Economic council, though, we've, the guy that we've got in there is not so good. He's, he's not bad, but he's not terrible. Um, advisor, Dick Sirius. I, I think I'm going to put this guy as an advisor. He is actually pretty decent. And I don't think I've got anyone better. Now, I could go for a. I could try recruiting a junior. Um, economic council research objective. Let's go for university. That's always worth getting. And then zone decisions, we've got to put a governor in as well. Now, Brick Granger's actually got high high intelligence. So she'd probably be good at, you know, things like administration, trade, etc. Um, but I might put Bertie Iron Dawn in there because this is not going to be a... This is basically just a, a backwater place. So, he, you know, it's, this is literally just going to be like a a zone just so that we've got let's have a look at this one yeah you'll see where i've created it here so this zone um i'll just paint out the uh the zone markings while we're at it so yeah this this is just going to be for a truck station essentially that's basically it i think what i'll do is i'll just make sure it's going up to this border here kale was was shit talking me a bit saying you guys if if you had to push me back right at the start of the game i'd have had this you know i'd have um i could have attacked you and then got access to that metal mine you know if i didn't like obviously with the hindsight that it was that knowing he would be knowing that it was there and um <laughs> i was just like attack me if you want like i've got some tanks that i need to try out <laughs> mm -hmm. i've not actually built any tanks yet as you all know but you know yeah, let's just get this we'll just get this up here this will be for the like something like this for the time being yeah, I'll, I'll do it something like that. I'm not, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. I, I might fiddle with that later on. But if you go to zones, look, you can you can kind of check the zone marking. So this is uh, Bezalt. I'm probably going to change the name of that. Okay, so let's put Dick Sirius in, in, in as an advisor. Um, he's he's going to make a decent advisor. He's not he's not like the strongest character I've got, but he's going to be okay. Um, it's be he's better there than just sat in that um, OHQ, kind of doing nothing. Um, Doug Matthews now after oh by the way um, I don't know if I showed this on camera last time but I played a card on him just before the, I rolled roll the turn I actually played paid a uh, I think it was a medal you know one of these medal cards where you just you spend some political points and you give it you know he gets about 25 
um, 25 authority. So he's happy at the moment. Where are we? Yeah, Medal of Merit. That was the one. So he's... Uh, yeah, his loyalty is going to drop down gradually because he's, you know, I mean, sorry, the relationship is going to drop down because the loyalty is kind of low. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like, he's he's also kind of corrupt, this guy. So I need to, I I do need to sort of figure that out a little bit. Okay, um, let's have a look what we're doing with with regards to other stuff, movement, etc. These guys are going to have to get back into supply because they're starving. So I don't want to lose this volcano. I don't want Kale to get this. Um, I can't really have that. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, just an interesting thing that I noticed. Um, we've got no money issues this turn. I'm not quite sure why. I think if we look at our treasury cash flow overview. Um, yeah, we have forced, sailing, so it's forced sales of water. So we actually made 391 income there. So we're not making a whole lot of money from income tax. Because I don't have a lot of population. That's what the, I'm actually behind the other players in the game at the moment. Because I don't actually have any population. I think what I need to do desperately is is get another zone. So let's get these guys up here. We're going to go and take. Are we going to go and take this zone? Oh. Okay. We were lucky there. Uh, we ran into a lot of troops, and our tanks, because they're very very strong, they managed to fight it off. Now, let's get these. Uh, this we're going to get this brigade up here. Yeah, we need more troops as well. But we're are we missing one? Oh no, there's two brigades there. One, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is down here. Um, and then we've got these two attached. Let's get these um, GR troops up as well. Uh, who is this? Fried Realm. Which one's Fried Realm again? Got these guys? Yes. Let's just invade them. I'm just going to attack them. Okay. We should be able to kill these with what we've got. Yeah, if it wasn't... Oh, we did lose a GR troop. No, we're not... We didn't win either. There's a lot of them there, and we didn't have enough recon. That's basically what happened there. So, yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to get these troops up here as well. I actually, I actually moved this militia up just so that I could get a little bit of... Uh, some more troops onto um, onto Richenau because we've got a lot, we've got a high amount of unrest. It will go down, and it, you know I mean I think I might just leave it there until the unrest goes down. That um, the unrest event was quite nasty actually. Um, let's get <clears throat> let's get these guys over here. Just pushing these troops back, and then we've got to get these ones out. So let's make sure that we are. Yeah, I want I want the first moving out now. They're they're not doing much good here until I, until I've actually got the capability of getting through here. I'd like to get into Dogger White. Now I can't remember if I've got any if I've got spies in Dogger White. I have. Can we go for offer protection? Yeah, it's a really high roll though. Look, so it's very unlikely we're going to get it in. Uh, we could try it on another one. I'd like to get it in on Dogger White though. I'm going to try it. Oh, we got it. Okay, so we've got we've got a protection agreement on these guys now. Now this basically means that the uh, the other players won't be able to in, uh, they won't be able to in, uh, invade it or declare war without declaring war on me. So this is going to be interesting. You might find that the uh, my the other players <laughs> they might not react well to that when they find it. Uh, but yeah, that that'll be that's done me the world of good. That was a really good role, and I'm really lucky there. I think. That's gonna that's gonna be a big thing. Let's just check the construction overview. Okay, so we're still going for industry two. We've got one more turn of industry two, and um, what do we need? We need a hundred uh, every turn. It's pulling. It's taking one hundred twenty-five industrial points. So, yeah, we go, uh, as long as I leave one hundred twenty-five industrial points, I'll finish that next turn, and then we can start saving up a little bit, and we can try and push through here. But I I think I probably should put up. I I need to get some tanks. I think that's got to be my next job. So I don't think I can do that this turn if I want to finish industry. Industry, Yeah, we can't. But I, I desperately need to get some more troops up now because these guys should be able to handle this, I reckon. Um, although they're... Yeah, they're grunts too in the old... Yeah, they're, they're not the best troops, actually. I think what I could do is if I get some of those really good troops that I've just created... 
Um, maybe I'll get... Can I afford a regiment? Oops, that's artillery. Where are we? Infantry. Yes, logistics is the issue. I, I probably can get one of these guys up, so... Let's just go to race formation. There we go, look. We can get an independent infantry regiment. Um, now, that's going to cost 180. Uh, what have we got? We've got 296. Now, I can't afford that if I... Oh, hang on. No, I, I don't think I can afford that if I want... If I want to be able to get this thing up. So, uh, I don't know what to do here. Like, maybe I could get... I just need something that can attack in, basically. Motorized artillery. That'll be 180... That's going to leave us with, what's that, um, 116. That's not going to be enough to finish off what I need. Maybe I just leave it this turn. And what I might do is just get some roads up, up here instead. How much is that going to cost? 88 industrial points. I'll just move it up here instead. Let's just, uh, just readjust that. Okay. And then what I want to do here is just make sure that we are just cutting off anything but pull points going up in that direction. Because we really want, at least for the time being, I want to take this. If I can take this zone and this zone, and then we, we can start getting eyes on this one here. This is Greyshire. Let's start doing that. I, I, I do think that we should have put this on um, whatever. The, I forget what the history class is called now, but the one that basically makes it so that the, the, the AI... Um, is you know more aggressive you know uh, they're, sorry they're they're more difficult AI regimes I forget what it's called now um, but anyway whichever one that is that one I, I think would make it so that you can't just kind of like it's not just a race to, to get as many nations to you know into your fold diplomatically I've been talking to a few people in the community and they, everyone seems to agree that this is it's a little bit too easy for multiplayer okay this piece are we still at war with these guys we are aren't we? oh no we're not at war with them sorry yeah i i mean i might now i've got the opportunity open contact can i do that with no we've already got the contact i think it was the ambassadors that he put in and, and my my people wouldn't like it at all um let's get some covert ops in then we'll send a spy into what is it not that one grayshire that was the one Okay, so we've got some spies in there. Um, I need to find where um, Hyde is as well. I don't know where he is at the moment. Oh, we've got all these as well, look. Inland Thor, etc. Phoenix Land, is that? Hang on. No, that's not Phoenix Legion. That's a different one, okay. Let's get some spies into Empire Dick there and just kind of have a look at what Richard's doing over in that side. Um, cause he's got, he's got a couple of new zones now that, I, that I've not got eyes on. Okay. All right. Um, my, that's looking about it. I think. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I'm hoping that we can get into this Swenberg pretty fast. I'm really, really pleased that, uh, Castello Republic moved back. I don't know why they did that. I don't know if that's just because they're friends with us and they... You know they're kind of, yeah they are friends with us and they're, they're acting in that way as well i'll tell you what we could do is we could actually open contacts with that one i oh, know we've already got a contact i wonder if we can get a non-aggression pack would they agree with that yes okay non-aggression pack sounds good i can always break it later if i want to um but that means i don't have to worry about going i don't want to go that way anyway to be honest um I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way and start taking taking as much of this land as possible. Having a non-aggression pack with these guys means that I can be sure that they're not going to attack me. Um, so that's good. We can probably st we'll we'll try and get some trading going on with them as well. Um, spy team. Let's get some more spies into. Yeah, have a look what Kale's doing. I think in that area. Uh, that's about it. I think. Yeah, we're about good here. We're about good. I think these guys will be enough to take um, Zwenberg. I think the roads will be enough for us to build this turn. Next turn, um, the Industry 1 will go up, and then the following turn after that, we'll be able to get... Uh, we'll, uh, the, we'll actually see the industrial points coming through for it. So, yeah, looking good. I might buy some food. 
since I'm still going backwards in food. Yeah, I've still got money. Um, 200. Let's get like 500. 600. That's a lot of credits. Maybe I'll just get two turns worth. In fact, just one. One will do. Let's get that. Uh, I, that's right. I was building this, wasn't I? This, this agri-dome. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm building this on top. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this agri-dome down to... I'll just put it down to 25%. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, it's going to take longer for me to get the food up, but I desperately need that industry up. I want the industry finished next turn. All right, folks, I think that's going to be it. Yeah, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of limited now by logistics getting out this way and that, and I need to get a road out. Once I've got a road out, then I can start. Just got to keep an eye on what Kale's doing. I need to get, I, he won't be able to take Dogger White now. <laughs> that's, uh, <clears throat> that's interesting. And I think, I think Hyde's out this way, I think. So... I'm not quite sure exactly where he is. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly where he is, but it'll be interesting to see what's going on. Okay, so I've got a, a non-aggression pack now with this big nation here. They might, I might be able to get the AI as an ally, and that would be quite interesting to see how that works in a multiplayer game. I mean, I could have attacked them. That's also something I could have done and just moved, moved in here and taken Castello. I think that's their only zone as far as I can see. So I don't know if it would be worth the invasion just to go for one zone when I can probably trade with them and, you know, and, and work out this big industrial base that I've got here, or I will have here. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Take care, guys.